Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in this video let's take a look at this heating pad that I got from Aliexpress and this cost me about 135 rupees or about 2 American dollars. So in the pictures it looked a little better quality than how it actually looks in real. As you can see the cloth cut is not cut very well and you can see the it's very flimsy and not very good quality. So this is basically a USB heating pad. Uh, it came with this uh, one meter long, a little more than one meter long USB cable. So you can plug this inside your computer or a wall charger and then you can heat this up. So what inside is basically a, a carbon fiber wire inside there. You can see the patterns. It is going like that. And when you supply 5 volt to this, I'm not sure how much current it consumes but when you supply 5 volts to it the carbon fiber wires have a very high resistance and because of that resistance the water the, the wire inside starts heating up and that's how it heats uh, the surface so I like what I do is uh, I you can use this for germination of seeds let's say you put this on a surface and then you will put some kind of container like this you will fill this container with some soil and then sprinkle your seeds on top and then you can cover the container with a lid and within a couple of days you will have your seeds germinated or let's say you have a betta fish tank and you want to keep you don't it is very difficult to find a small heater for betta fish because uh, small heaters are very difficult to come by and they are usually very very expensive so this could be an alternative for heating a betta fish tank and I've seen many people doing this but this is the cheapest uh, option to go with there is other uh, carbon fiber films available that heat that works on the same principle and heat up the aquarium so what you would do is you would put this on a desk then you will take your aquarium let's assume that this is your aquarium you will put this on top of uh, the heating pad you will fill this up with water and then uh, you will plug this in your computer or a wall charger and this should heat up your aquarium so typically uh, what betta fish requires or what is the information on the internet uh, about the betta fish is that they require about 26 to 25 to 26 degrees celsius or 78 to 80 degrees fahrenheit uh, but in my experience I have noticed that my betta fish, uh, the fish that I keep, starts acting normal and healthier when the temperature is above 22 degrees Celsius. So I don't like to go all the way to 25 degrees Celsius. I like to keep it uh, above 22 or 23 degrees Celsius. So I like to keep my tanks about 24 or 23 degrees Celsius. And that way even if it, get, it gets cold and I don't have any heater, the fish has at least uh, some ability to survive uh, colder temperatures. So to test this unit, let me just fill this up and so I filled this tank a uh, little uh, container with some water and here is my uh, digital uh, temperature sensor. The ambient temperature is about 30 degrees Celsius and I'm going to put this inside. Uh, the water so that it can uh, measure the temperature it can measure the temperature and now I'm going to take my Motorola charger and I'm going to put this in a uh, extension here it is so let me just plug it in let's turn it on and now I'm going to connect this uh, to the adapter So it's connected now. Let me connect this. Yeah, now it's connected. And we will see uh, if it can increase the temperature of this water or not. I will come back after one hour. Okay, so it is about 30 minutes now. And when we started to heat the water, the water temperature was 29 degrees Celsius. And now we have the water at 31.8 degrees Celsius, so almost 32. So in half an hour or 30 minutes we got an increase of 3 degrees celsius so it's not a very powerful heater considering that it works on usb uh, so if you really want to use this for your aquarium you will at least use uh, two or three of these uh, side by side and considering they are not very expensive for one piece you had to, i had to pay like 135 rupees for one piece you can definitely invest your money into this also what you can do with these type of uh, let me just take it out 
what you can do with these type of uh, heating pad is you can attach them to your uh, to your jacket inside your sweater and this could be your very personal uh, body warmer as you can see uh, it is not po very powerful to heat the water temperature but if I put this on top of if I put the probe on top of the uh, uh, on top of the uh, heating pad you can see that the temperature is rising very very fast you can see that 32 33 35 38 so this can be a very useful product if you really want a USB personal warmer so you would attach this to your sweater or a jacket and then you will plug the USB cable in, in a power bank so that way you can build your own personal body warmer and there we go this was my review of the uh, cheapest heating pad USB USB heating pad available on the internet I hope you found this video helpful thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video bye